Micro and Mini is all about participation, um, where you've kicked a ball before, you've never played football in your life, that early engagement where you get exercise as a way of life. Yes, we'll not all be the next um, superstar, but it gives you an opportunity to progress in the game, get better, open for all ages and abilities. We've got a, a geographical spread around Inverclyde from Inverkip and Wims Bay all the way through um, Gourock, Greenock and Port Glasgow and finishing at Kilmer Home. So we've got over 400-500 kids on a weekly basis from them areas in Inverclyde. We also have structured teams, boys and girls, um, which they can also progress onto and learn the game a little bit more. And from there we're looking for them to progress into our youth academy and one day hopefully playing for the first team. Once they went to primary school, I think they start to live that dream um, of becoming the next footballer, maybe it be Messi or Ronaldo. Um, however, we do try and open the club up, educate them around the club. Um, from primary school, we also have summer camps based at Capolo, so this might be the first time they get the chance to play in an actual stadium and become the first step for their journey to be a footballer. Probably the first time they've, the parents have engaged with a professional club, um, just makes it that little bit more special. Um, gives the kids the opportunity to dream, but also gives mum and dad the opportunity to dream about their son or daughter being the next professional footballer in the area. The girls' game's grown massively in the last five to ten years, especially in Scotland. Um, girls only, it gives them an opportunity to work within their friends maybe, work with other girls, um, even girls' coaches. It, gives them a positive role model. Leanne and her group of coaches are excellent, giving girls an opportunity from nine right through to under 17 and hopefully progress in their own pathway. Mm -hmm. I think the coaches are a positive role model. Um, they might not get that sort of engagement they get maybe in school or at home, so it's maybe a release for them to go and see their coach and go and try and impress them. So I think the coaches are real role models for these children.